Hello and welcome to the Balanced Body Athletic Training Podcast. My name is Chrissy Romani Ruby and today I have Zach with me. We're going to show you some exercises for shoulder rehabilitation that can also help with some lower extremity problems like hamstring strains. All of these exercises are closed change, so they're they're very useful early in rehab. So as soon as the person has enough range of motion to do the exercise, you can start. So we're going to use the long box on the reformer, and I have the tension on just a blue right now. This tension can increase as they get stronger, but I encourage you to start with a lower tension. Notice that I have the foot bar down a little bit. And the reason for this is that Zach's range of motion in his shoulder in flexion is not really, really good. He doesn't get all the way up. So if I had this bar up high, it's going to make him be in a very bad position and he won't be able to keep his alignment. So I've put the bar down one and you can put it down even further if you need to. So let's go ahead and lie down, Zach. The position that you'd like your client to be in is with their chest line or the nipple line off the box. The hands are going to be on the foot bar and they can be a little bit wide. The legs are going to reach back in outward rotation but the heels do not have to be together. Pubic bone is going to reach into the box, abs are on, and Zach you can go ahead and push back. So he's going to fully extend his arms. So that's a tough stretch. We're putting a lot of stretch on the lats and the biceps right now. I'm going to encourage him to reach through the web of his thumb because that's going to cause the kind of rotation that we want at the humerus which is outward rotation, at the forearm arm which is inward rotation and he can reach and press and that's going to help lengthen those muscles in the arms. So now Zach is just going to think about bending his elbows and pulling his head toward the bar. So he's going to pull and then he's going to push. So this is just one of the exercises that I do to kind of get them set. So he inhales as he pulls, exhaling and push, try to get fully straight. We'll really talk a lot to the client about keeping the head out of the shell. So like a turtle's head staying out of his shell. You're going to pull, and now we'll push and move away. Okay, so now Zach's going to hold this and we're actually going to move his trunk against his arms. So when you're trying to rehab someone, they're trying to lift their arm, they have a problem with that because they, they're, they're open chain. Now we're closed chain. Now Zach is going to inhale as he tries to come up in a swan, keeping his elbows straight. So keep this tricep on. Good. And then you're going to exhale as you push into that bar again to push away. So he actually is doing a front raise. He inhales and the spring helps him come up. And as he does that front raise, we want him to try to use that anterior deltoid. Exhale. Try to turn on here. Good job. And you do one more. You're going to inhale as you climb. Nice long neck. Shoulders are down. Good. And exhale away. Good. Now we're going to bring your left hand a little more center, Zach. So you can do the single arm once they get to a a level of strength and ability. We're going to try to straighten that elbow if you can. I'm going to inhale as you come up in your swan. Good. Doesn't have to be high. Small motion is fine. And exhale as you press away. You want to keep these legs active and that bum on. Reach your legs. Inhale as you come up. Good. And exhale down. Good. And you can add your right arm and bring yourself in. So bend your elbows and come in. And if you want to go ahead and slide off the side and come up there, Zach. So as we go to single arm, we start to work just one side of the latissimus dorsi. And that's an important relationship for any athlete because when we take a step or we use our, our spine in a reciprocal motion like running or walking, we want the latissimus dorsi on one side to contract while the gluteus maximus on the other side contracts. For so many of our athletes, the latissimus dorsi becomes very short and the gluteus maximus becomes very weak. So with these kinds of relationships, they're now left with using the hamstring string to do all hip extension. And that's where the whole idea of hamstring strains comes into this exercise. You think, how do I work the shoulder and fix the hamstring? Well, you change the length and the strength of muscles that are responsible for activities that that, that hamstring should not be doing. So we have to build balance up here so the lower end can work better. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast, and I'm looking forward to seeing you for the next one.